What is good you guys? It's your boy, Kid Ginger Vlogs, back again. Back with a vlog, first time in a long time, but we're back. Today, you're here, you clicked on the thumbnail because you wanna know how to make a Subway at home. This is the way I do it, you can do it differently. This is the way I do it, so stick around, let's get into the video. So you start off first, they're in the oven, with these part-baked baguettes. I don't know if you can see them, but they're like baguettes, they're like half-baked, so you stick them in the oven, eight to 10 minutes they take, and then they're done. You take them out, you chop them up. And then what you're left with is like a nice baguette. Like it's already done, but like I've already cut it, it's already done. So that part's done. And then we've got the meatballs over there cooking. They're in the pan. It's just basically fresh meatballs. It's a tomato sauce with oregano, garlic, onion, and what else? Chili powder and a bit of paprika. That is your meatball sauce. That is literally what Subway sauce is. It's nothing different, nothing big, nothing major. It's literally just those ingredients. You can use a jar if you want. You can use tin tomatoes if you want. It's up to you how you do it. But I'm using a jar because that's what I got. And then we just add those herbs and spices into it. And that's what makes the spicy herby sauce, what you get at Subway. So we've got the meatballs cooking right now. They're in the pan. And it looks burnt, but it's not burnt. It's literally just cooking. That's how thick you want it. You see the sauce, it's quite thick. That's how thick you want it. So it's not falling all over the place when you eat it and burning your lips. Got a bit of pasta in the back as well there because I'm going to make extra meatballs and we're gonna literally do pasta and meatballs. That's for another meal later on. So here we go. Got the sub ready. That goes like that on the chopping board. And then we're gonna just build it now. So you can build this how you like. But first what I like to do, you know, get yourself a pair of tongs so you don't get the sauce everywhere. And literally just in your sandwich, you can put how many you like. I'm just gonna put four. So you get like two per bite because the sauce is going to go in the middle of that. And then we're just going to build it like this. And you might think, oh, you're going to get sauce to whatever ratio. But it, it's, it don't matter, guys, honestly, literally. I've got 12 meatballs. I could put like six in each, but then I'd have none for the pasta. That's why I'm doing it like this. So, and you can do this however you like. I'm doing it like this. So there's one. Totally up to you guys how you do the next bit. But I like to do it like this. You get your cheese and then you just literally go across the top. It's not a lot, it looks a lot, but it isn't a lot. And you can you can go for more if you like more. A bit on the chopping board there. Nothing never harm nobody. And then just close up your sub. Give it a little squish. Get your knife, whatever knife you've got at home. Chop that bad boy in half. And there you have it. Not the cleanest, not the best, but it is what it is. It's not the cleanest sub, but it's it's a sub at the end of the day. And you might think, oh, it's not six inches, but like that, compared to my hand, that's roughly, yeah, it's roughly that, six inches. And then you get two of those, they're done. You can put them in tin foil, stick them in your fridge. When they've cooled down, obviously don't do it straight away. When they've cooled down, eat them later on, or like I'm gonna do, I'm gonna eat them now. So let's have a taste test, what's it like? Subway, that's exactly what it's like. I'm gonna tell you now. Perfect. Now, it's not a best cooking, like, I'm not the best at describing and recording everything coming to cooking, I like to just cook. But that's something I like to have, something I like to eat. So if you guys wanna try it out, I'll put all the ingredients in the description. So easy to do, how to make the sauce. The sauce is not hot, it's not spicy enough to burn you, but it's just enough to get the same experience Subway sauce gives you when you have that. If you like meatballs and cheese, this one's for you. Try it out, give it a go. Let me know how you get them. Perfect. Cooked all the way through. This is a far better way to pack your sandwiches because they're hot and the bread won't stick to it. It's just parchment paper or greaseproof paper, whatever you guys call it. Parchment paper and literally your sandwiches won't stick to it. It's like, you know, when you go to a cob shop, you get the paper bag. It's literally, it does that. It's that same thing. Just so it doesn't go soggy and moist and horrible. But that's done. The other tubs are done as well. You can get these. I got these the other week from one of the shops near me. I think it's like Home Bargains or B&M. But this one, amazing. 
Then, like, I think bodybuilders use these and stuff like that. They're like prep tubs and shit like that, or just meal prep tubs in general. I've got that. I've got two of those out of that one big tub of pasta. And they are, they're quite big. They're not small. Like, look that. All there, ready to go in the fridge when it cools down. And they're just literally prepped today now. And you haven't got to cook later. You know, it's Friday night. You just want to go out or whatever you want to do. Literally, that's all you got to do. You can use the microwave. Up to you but just bang it in a little thing or put it back in the pan on the top of the gas stove, cook it for a little bit, back in the pot, off you go. That's how you make Subway at home for five pounds. And it's cheap alternatives, like, I like Subway, but I don't like paying now nearly nine pounds for the same thing. You're just paying for meatballs and bread with cheese on it, a bit of salad, a bit of sauce. Nine pounds, I don't like that. Like, even in the times it is or whatever, if you've got money, you've not got money, whatever. I don't like paying that. I hate that. Because you're just giving companies £10 for a sandwich. £10, that's some people's like little weekly shop. And they're just doing that for one sandwich where you can get that, £5. My sister provided this stuff because I did mention to her, I said, I'm going to make this one weekend. And it's now the weekend. So she just came up the other week with that and said, here, you said you wanted that. And I was like, yeah, but I was going to get it. Yeah, but I've got it for you. I'm like, all right, cheers. You know, that's what sisters do. It's what families do. They're there for each other, regardless. Like you buy for them, they buy for you and all that shite. But that's your subway, five pounds. We're going to continue with the vlog a little bit. I don't know if you can hear the dog snoring down there because I've woke him up a little bit, but he's awake down there. But your subway, five pounds, quite simple, quite easy. And then two tubs of pasta. That was just extra. I was going to have all them meatballs in like two subs. There's going to be like, what, six meatballs in each one. But I put it down to four in each with the salad, with the cheese, whatever you put in it. And then we've kept four for the pasta, so there's two in each one of them. So four meals for the price of five pounds, because the pasta we already had. And other than that, stick around, we're gonna get into the next bit of the vlog. So if you guys do wanna know how to make a Subway for less than five pounds, this is the first part of the vlog. Watch this, I'm editing now as I'm doing it because it's easy for me that way. And then I can just import these bits in later on when I record more. But you'll see now the later on part of the vlog as well while it gets ahead like i'm gonna go and see the dog and everything and then we're probably gonna go out and do something for the rest of the day and we'll come back i don't know if i'll vlog in the car i may i may not but if i do and i see anything i'll put it in you know what i'm like I'll, if i see something random i'll just put it in so stick around for that and we're gonna jump back to the vlog now there's a place to put your vehicle right and i'm sure this is breaking like road rules or whatever you call it but look at this Look directly to my, well, to, to the right here after this traffic light. Look, look where that car's parked. I'll put an arrow there. On a part, what's got like solid marked lines, what says you can't park there. I'll let you go back to bed. Yeah? I'm sorry, mate. I'll let you go back to sleep for a bit. We'll see you later. So we got a little bit dressed up because it's a bit cold today. Not mega cold, it's just a little bit cold. But uh took him out, he won't go to the toilet, he does that. And then he just gets back in. We got him this crate because before we got him, he was in a crate and he loved it. And then I think my mum and my sister ended up getting it or something. Can't remember, but the day it came, he jumped straight in there. He loved it. And like now, he's, he's just back in there. He just loves staying in it. There's no door or nothing. He can come out when he wants, but he just loves it. But yeah, went and got dressed a little bit because it was about, it's about 10 degrees outside, but it's gonna be around that today. So we just put a t-shirt on with this, but it is what it is, man. And I know some of you starting watching the vlog, you might be like, what's he made a sandwich for? It might not be to you, it might not cater to you, but it's just what I do, guys. My content's not like just whatever. It is whatever, but it's like what I wanna record. It's my content. I'm not going to make it like 4K or brushy and like, you know, make it all have lights and fancy LEDs and that. It's, it's a real, it's a vlog. It's real life. It's just, it's every day. You know what I mean? It hasn't got to be perfect. Literally, why would it be? Because then it wouldn't be real. And that's the thing with me. If it's not real, I'd have to keep re-recording it, keep redoing it, keep doing other things like that. And that's not what I do. With the vlog, you know what I do. A couple of takes, put it together, upload it. And, and I know people aren't going to go, I'm not watching him make a sandwich, blah, 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 blah. Like they've probably got bald head, brown teeth, no legs, ugly kids, depending, whatever, it don't matter. But it's all there if you want to do it. Go in the description below, make what you want to make. If you enjoy the video so far as well, drop a like on it. 
do what you need to do. And yeah, from there, I don't know what else to say about it really, guys. If you want to make it, it's all in the description below. So go buy the cheap, go buy the expensive, go buy whatever. Like I say, I don't like corporations that are now charging £10 for a piece of bread and four meatballs. That is what it is, four meatballs and a piece of bread for £10. I'll just give you the alternative. You can go and make that yourself. I know you've got to cook it and stuff. People are too lazy to do that like nowadays. They just want it all dropped on the doorstep, delivered and whatnot. Me, I'll just go through the effort of making it. It doesn't bother me. If it costs a fiver, it costs a tenner. Whatever, I'll just make it. What can I get you? What do you want? Me? Hey? What do you want? Nothing. Hmm? You been outside? It's a bit later now, isn't it? I woke you up this morning. I will upset you again. I'm sorry, mate. I've not have I. But that's going to be it today, guys. There's not a lot going on. Like I say, if you're interested in making a sub for five pounds, go watch the beginning of the vlog. If you've already made it this far, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next vlog. Peace.